Hi guys, and welcome back to our Football Manager Managing Sunderland Save. So in this episode, we're going to be doing maybe three or four games, because I think we only have seven or eight games left. I think there's seven games left of the season. So I'm going to try and cut that down the middle and cut that into two episodes. So I think I may play three, possibly four games in this one, round off the month of uh, March as well. Of course, we do have Blackburn, I believe, in a, a couple of days. Yes, we do. But as you can see on screen, KLD, Kirill Louis-Dreyfus, our owner, the owner uh, of the club, is delighted that we've already... Uh, past one of their objectives. The objective was to finish this season uh, with a top half finish, which of course we've done. We're currently in second. We've got several points ahead of third place as well. So we're absolutely flying at the minute. The only thing as what keeps coming up every single episode now is injuries. I've, again, I've taken into consideration everything that you guys have said. There's not like too much recovery, or sorry, that there's more than enough recovery. There's more than enough rest time. There's nothing else I can do to make it better. Um, it's literally just luck of the draw, or a case of really bad luck in uh, in my scenario here. We also have a question from ITV Sports, David McManus. Uh, having ticked off some of the short-term milestones, you must feel rather confident about going on to make good on the club's long-term vision now. Uh, I'll respond to it. Uh, we all believe in ourselves at this club, and we won't stop in our pursuit of being the very best team we can be. I think that's probably the best thing I could say. That's fantastic. So we're all on board. Everyone's buzzing. It looks like we are currently en route to the Premier League, but we can't get too ahead of ourselves now, can we? And just before we do take on Blackburn in the first game of the episode, the awards of the month have come through. If we have a look at the uh, young player of the month, Avshish has won with three goals and three assists in four games with an average rating of 8.2. So he's had a class month in March, hasn't he? But uh, if we have a look at the main player, the player of the award, sorry, player of the month award, we do have Ryan May. I don't know how you pronounce that from uh, from Stoke, anyway. Uh, and Avshish came in second. So he's had an outstanding month, has Adil Avshish. And we got ourselves manager of the month as well with a 100% win ratio. We absolutely smashed. March to pieces. With some difficult games in there as well, beating Norwich away from home 3 1, 3 0 against Leicester with a side they've got 2 1 away from home against Southampton, QPR and Cardiff as well, winning 4 3 and 1 0 respectively. We absolutely bossed it last month and we are on course now for promotion. So we have had to make a couple of changes for this game, largely because, of course, injuries and uh, obviously fatigue, just general fatigue as well. Both our centre backs at the time sealed. And uh, Ballard, they were both very, very tired. So, Triantis and Alessi will be taking up uh, the mantle in the centre-back uh, places there. We have Pembele and Sirkin either side of them. Dan Neal and Equa in the middle with Barr, Alshish, Bennett behind Ricky J. Jones. Diallo just drops the bench due to a little bit of fatigue. He's a bit tired as well. So, we have a pretty stacked bench if we do need it. But again, we, we it's very rare. I think only once or twice a season have we managed to do two starting 11s back to back purely because of fatigue and tiredness and that's not you know moaning about injuries and stuff but I guess just with how the championship fixtures come so thick and fast you kind of have to rotate constantly anyway but that is the side we're going to go with against Blackburn and this game is on Sky as well just finished the quick interview just telling the press how amazing I think we are Wharton Really good player for Blackburn, and that one's over the bar as a player have looked at. Alshish now to take the corner. Can anyone get the head on it? Still in the box it is. Heading towards Equa, but Burnett is going to look to recycle this. Is Alshish onside? It's been tipped around the near post. Alshish now again driving down the left-hand side. Young player of the month in the championship for last month. Still a deal, Alshish. Burnett recycles it back to Equa. Neil on the edge of the box. Can he go for goal? He can, and it's looks like it's ballooned off there. The post there. Wharton now plays a good ball over the top for Dolan, who we were warned about before the game. It was a player who was picked out as someone to be wary of, and that is exactly why, right in the stroke at half time, Blackburn do take the lead. Equit, Dan Neal. Can we get an immediate equaliser here with Ricky J. Jones? Oh, it's a good save at the near post. Half time, 1 0, and we've dominated, really. They look relatively. Dangerous on the counter-attack Blackburn, but I feel like we've dominated enough to not throw too much at it in this second half. I'll give it 10-15 minutes, maybe 20 minutes, because like I say, we've dominated. Don't want to change the chemistry too much. I say that, but straight away, they have a good chance here from a set piece, and you know how poor we are at set pieces. It is Wharton, who's over it as well. He puts it in, and it's 
hit, well, it looked like it hit the post, but it was actually an incredible save from Anthony Patterson there. It looked destined for the top corner. Ranking Castillo to take the following corner. Get it away, lads. Well in. Alchish now with a set piece of our own. Can anyone get it at the back post? It is Bembele who gets it with the volley. He cushions it home at the back post. Get in. Lovely finish from Pembele there. Let's go and get another. Come on, lads. Oh, no. It's Hedges now on the right-hand side. Ranking Costello. Press him. Press him. Romero again. Good football this from Blackburn. He finds Hedges. They've come inside really well here. 2-1 Blackburn. Oh, it's offside. Thank God. Jesus Christ, I spotted the linesman there. Now we are going to make a few changes. Hamia is going to replace Ricky J. Jones. Ahmad is coming on, as is Chris Rigg. And I think I'm going to bring on Job for Dan Neal as well. Here we go again. Hedges on the right-hand side, intercepts. Well played. Don't just give it away, lad, please. It's mountain attack now from the back. We can do this. Come on. String some passes together. It is Jewison Burnett now. Drive at him. Drive at him. You're quicker than him. Go on, son. Go on, roadrunner. Gets it in towards Oshish. It's... Oh, no, I thought it was in. I thought he powered it into his own net then. Sirkin. Give it inside. Give it inside. Jewison Burnett. Or is he going to try and go alone again? Burnett. He's getting doubled up on here. Jewison Burnett. He loses it. They pump it forward. And here comes Smodix now. Oh, no. Here we go. Smodix. And it's tipped over the bar from Patterson. I have changed to a positive mentality for the final 10 minutes or so. As opposed to balance. Now here is Job. All the way back to Triantis there. Come on. Got plenty of bodies in the box. Let's not lose it. Go on, Pembele. Take him. Is Ahmad. Please be onside. Gets across. Goal, Hamia. Oh, my God. How have you not even hit the target there, man? Useless. Blackburn. It looks like it's going to be them with a final highlight of the game. Potentially, anyway. It's very late on now. Really good chance. Schmodix turns his man brilliantly. Well in, Triantis. Gets across. Goal. It's in. Sam Gallagher with it. Really poor defending there. Ample opportunities to get it away. And there we go. Of course, the first game of the episode we do lose. I don't think that was particularly fair. I think that maybe a draw would have been a fair result because we did have so many opportunities there, but there's only so much you know, possession and shots you can have. You need to take your chances, and we didn't today in Blackburn absolutely punished us so our unbeaten run comes to an end early on in this episode and this is how the league table looks after that defeat it's all of a sudden after after defeat it looks so much more nervy we were absolutely flying literally one game ago with four points ahead of Birmingham so we, we can't keep losing games like that but now we are going to be welcoming Bristol City to the stage my Bristol City currently in 12th place and we do seem to Struggle more so against sides who are in the sort of bottom half of the league. I know they're not quite there yet. They're nearly there. But uh, but do you know what I mean? We seem to struggle. We drop points against those sides. Yes, we just lost to Blackburn. But generally, we're really good against the sort of top six, seven, eight teams. But everywhere else, it is just so hit and miss with our, with our form. But hopefully, we can get back to winning ways here and keep on putting pressure on Southampton, who take on Blackburn as well. So it could be... A good day come the end of this fixture. And we are going to be ringing the changes a little bit again for this one against Bristol City. Pato in goal. Pembele, Ballard and Sealt are returning to their lineup. The starting eleven as they were tied for the last game. So it's good to see them two back. Sirkin remaining at left back as well. Bellingham and Rigg are going to be replacing Daniel and Equa again. Just for a little bit of fatigue. And I want to give them some game time. Diallo, Aushish and Burnett in behind Ricky J. Jones. That looks like a really dangerous front four there. So hopefully that is enough to take on Bristol City. First highlight goes in Bristol City's favour, or at least it seemed to be. Pembele does intercept and now it is Adil Aushish. Go on Pembele, got on the overlap man. He started the overlap and then stopped, but he keeps on going here on the left hand side. Tries to spread the play to Ahmad, it's headed away. And now here we go again, we're getting caught out here. It's Knight on the counter, Wells on the left hand side. No foul, gets it across, goal and it, oh God, what a shit start to the episode this is. We've absolutely crumbled in this episode. And here's another chance for them. It's two. Oh, he's offside, thank God. What a horrible start to this episode it's been. Well in, Ray. Great interception. That was Juice and Burnett. Go on, Sirkin. Get out of them. Get out of them. Get some bodies in the box. Still Dennis Sirkin now. Help him out. Or get it in. He does get it in. Can anyone get the head on it? They can't, but it is going to fall to Ahmad. Job. 
Go on, help him out, man. Rig from distance. It's Jewison Burnett. What a goal that is from Dewey. An absolute beautiful strike. 17 minutes in. Back on level terms. Come on. Brilliantly done there. Help him, man. Try and find Jewison Burnett. He tried. Ricky Jones. Jones! He's done it. Please say he's onside. He is onside. And it is 2 1. We're in the lead. Get in. And Southampton are currently getting beat by Blackburn as well. And as I say that, it is a highlight for Bristol City here. Naismith from distance. Bring now loads of space. Shocking defensively there. Really good football this. It's Wells now. This is going to be it, isn't it? It is. Absolutely horrible defending from the lads yet again. And it's 2 all. Can we get ourselves back in the lead at the stage of a light? Pembele finds Ahmad. Take him, man. Take him. Does find Joe. Pembele, lovely football this. Chris Ray gets it from this. What a beauty! What an absolute screamer from Chris Rigg. Maybe goal of the season. What a strike, son. Get in, lad. And yet another highlight immediately. It's going to be like 9-8 this, isn't it? I can just feel it. As you can see, we're back up to the first place. But it's not going to be for long, is it? It's not. It's so easy to fucking predict. Jesus Christ, 3 all. I don't want to get excited when we score now because you know what's going to happen in this game. Half time, 3 all. What do you do there? Because defensively we're all over the shop, but we're scoring goals for fun as well, so what do you do? Pembele with a throw in early on in the second half. Ahmad back to Pembele, gets the ball in. Can anyone get the head on it? It is Alshich. He's managed to sneak it in at the near post. And he's offside. Of course he is. Let's not leave spaces in behind. We've done exactly that. It's Wells, and it, of course it is the back of the net. 4 3. Go nick it off and well in. Ricky J. Jones. It's Jewison Burnett now. Go on. Get in, man. Have a crack. He does. Oh, it's a save. Oh, come on. Now here's Conway. Oh, God. Here we go again. It's going to be five. It is straight through Pato. Shite keeping that. He's hit it straight at him and it's gone straight through him. 5-3. Defensively appalling. This is embarrassing, man. I thought given that Ballard's back, Seals back, Will be a lot tougher to get through. But we've been absolutely hilariously easy. But it is Burnett. And it is 5-4. Come on. I'm not even getting excited. Because I reckon there's going to be an immediate Bristol City highlight. To make it 6. There we go. What did I just say? Straight over the top. Go on. Make it 6. Oh, never mind. <laughs> it's just getting really predictable now. Or is it? Are we going to go straight up the other end and make it 5-5? Five, five? Are we going to get a 10-goal thriller at the Sol? Let's see. Rig. Come on, help him out. All the way back to Ahmad. Give it him again. Help him, man. Burnett. Into Alshish. Tries to find Huggins, who's just come on now. Can he get across? Oh, Rusin. This is why I don't play you, man, you shit. Jesus Christ. I give him a game. Like, once every sort of three games or so. And he always comes on and misses a sitter. It's literally the only thing he does. He's absolute wank. There's literally been about 15 Bristol City passes leading up to this. Huggins has been done over there. Conway again. He's going to make the run in behind. Naismith again. Jesus, this highlight has gone on for a very, very long time. I can only assume it's going to result in a goal. There's two men in behind now. Conway. Oh, God, it's just, like again, just predictable, as I say. But it is offside. <laughs> this game has had everything, hasn't it? It's just had absolutely everything at the moment. Alshish to take. In the 83rd minute, this corner. Can anyone get the head on it? They can't. It's still in there, though. Rusin. Come on. Ahmad now on the edge. It's in. It's 5-5. Five, five. Ahmad Diallo gets it. And it is a 10-goal thriller. Please, lads. I'm going to go all attacking here. I'm probably going to absolutely rue this decision. But I'm going to go very attacking. We're doing this, lads. We're going all out. Can we make it 6-5? Can't believe I'm saying this. 6-5. We do have a corner. Oh, sheesh. Can we do it? Oh, it's Ahmad again. Go on. Give us a beauty, man. Give us a beauty. Oh, it's a... Come out to our sheesh and he's lost it. Come on, man. Let's go again. Seals gets it in. Burnett. Rig. Rig's done it. It's 6-5. We've done it. And it's Chris Rig, an 11-goal thriller at the stage of light. Right, I'm changing the mentality to defensive. Defensive. There we go. That's it. Sit back. Please, lads. Don't be like 20 minutes. Five minutes at a time. Please see it out. We're top of the league as it stands. And Blackburn have taken the lead against Southampton. Oh, please, lads. No, 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 no. There's one minute added time. Don't just give it away, please, lads. It's Huggins. See this one out. 
Or can we make it seven? Oh, sheesh. Rusin. Get in. He's done it. The lad who's absolutely terrible has done it. Seven, five. Seven, five. Oh, my God. This game. <laughs> this game. There we go. I had it all along, guys. Don't you worry. I knew what was going on all along. My head went several times there. But, my God, defensively, that was a minging display. Absolutely minging. And this is how the league table looks after that incredible game against Bristol City. We are top of the championship. Four points clear at Birmingham. Of course, Blackburn did us a favour. And uh, this, <laughs> this is just mental, this game. It's just mental, man. But next up, we are going to be taking on Leeds in the final game of the episode. We're going away from home. And yet again, I've had to make several changes. Seals has just picked up a knock as well just before the game. So Alessi will be taking over him. Uh, Pembele was jaded a little bit, so Hume will be taking over. Dan Neal and Chris Rigg. Rigg, of course, staking his claim uh, in the centre of midfield because he was outstanding in that previous game with a couple of goals, albeit, you know, it was a mess of a game. Bellingham will be playing as their number 10 instead of uh, Aushish because he's tired. The other one on side, Bar, will be on the left-hand side with Ricky J. Jones up top. Come on, lads. And here we go. Big game at Elland Road. Back to Alessi. Nice and composed at the moment. Let's not put ourselves under any unnecessary pressure, please, lads. It is Rig. Back to Alessi. Let's have a bit of movement, boys. Let's have a bit of movement. Ballard. Hume. It's nice stuff. Again, need a bit of movement. He does find Ahmad, who does move. I think Ricky J. Jones might be offside there. He wasn't. And he somehow missed the target, man. We'll get into him, man. He's really... Done some distance there. It is Alessi, though, intercepts. Come on, let's take it up the other end now. Sirkin. Abdullah Bar. Job. Spin. Finds Daniel. Come on. Well played. Get there first. Well in, Ahmad. Go on, son. Take it. Keep going, lad. Keep going. All the way. Still, I'm a Diallo. Oh, it's a tame effort. According to the stats, we're absolutely dominating here in terms of uh, shots on goal anyway, or shots in general. But now, as I say that, they are breaking forward. Ahmad loses out. It is Junior. Breaking forward again. Somerville. Come on, that's yours easy. Please, no one goal. That'll do. <laughs> That'll do. Come on, let's break now. Let's go. We've already had eight, nine shots already in this first half to Leeds. I think one. Playing some nice build up play, but can we make it count this time? It is Ahmad Diallo. We need a bit of movement. Spreads the play. Lovely. Sirkin, Rig, Job, really good stuff this. Go and help him. Give it in back. It is Abdullah Bar. There's bodies in the box. Go on, Abdullah. Get it in, man. Job towards Job. It's in. It's a fantastic goal. Stands it up for Joe Bellingham at the back post. Absolutely deserved. Come on. Sirkin with the throw. Can we make it two on the stroke? Half time. Rig, Dan Neal spins. Trey Hume. Bring it forward, man. Bring it forward. Finds Ahmad. Spin him. That'll do. Come on, get it across goal. There's bodies in there. Get it in. Oh, it's. Spilled, and it's in, Ricky J. Jones. He does, he capitalises on the mistake of the keeper. And we're going into the break. Two goals to the good, come on. And we're also going into the break, top of the pile still. Come on, get in, boys. A few changes, is going to come on. Equa is, as well as Jewison Bennett, for the final 20-odd minutes or so. Ahmad's going to keep this one in. He has done. Tries to pull it back. It's not a great pass, but it's Job now. Equa has just come on the pitch. Still, Equa... Oh, come on, man. It's like a training shot then. You had so much of the goal to go for. Sirkin does really well there. It's rigged. Slips in. Jewison Bennett. Can he put it across goal? He does. And it's wide of goal. I tell you what, the thing is, with Ricky J. Jones, he comes up with an absolute scorcher of a goal. But then when it comes up with sitters, sometimes it's just awful. Great out wide for James. He's going to drive forward on the right-hand side. Our left. All the way back to Spence. We try and nick it off him. Nick it off him. It's a poor pass. Now he's rigged. Can we break? Jewison Burnett. Oh, he's lost it far too easily there. Ailing for Leeds. All the way back to the keeper. Ailing again. James. He's got a little bit of space here. Drives in. Switches the play. Nick it off him, man. Oh, he's through. It's Somerville. Is it going to be in? It's wide of goal. Leeds first real opening in the second half. Just a few moments left. And is this going to be three points? I think it is. Come on, son. Come on, son. Yes, there we go. Getting a 2-0 win away from home at Leeds is a massive, massive result. Fair play to the lads. 
and a clean sheet. I really needed a clean sheet in this episode after the first couple of games. But there is the league table. It looks as though we are going to be heading to the Premier League. It looks like it's job done at the moment, but it's just a case of whether we're going up in first or second. Not quite there yet, I don't think mathematically, but we're still very much on course for a Premier League return. It just took me to guide us there, obviously. But all jokes aside, that is where the episode is going to end. I know it's a slightly shorter one today. I just don't really have too much time, but that is it. If you have enjoyed and you are enjoying the series, please hit the like button for me. It'd be massively, massively appreciated. And subscribe to the channel if you're not already to become a fully-fledged member of the Sarni Army. But for now, take care, stay jammy.